Tu Yun Song is joining us now from Beijing. He's the former director for international cooperation for the China National Space Administration. China's uh, Mars rover now been on the Red Planet for a full year. What's been the most exciting part for you? What have we learned? Well, I think uh, the most exciting thing is that we have a, a rover that survived its, uh, its lifespan of three months. And it's extended for uh, over a year. And it's now, uh, like you said, it's in hibernation mode. Because uh, we are, the, the whole thing was a, a thrill because the, it, this is the first Mars mission for the Chinese. And we are able to, to land a orbiter, lander, and rover at the same time. So we, we're, uh, we have another orbiting, uh, uh, orbiting uh, uh, facility that is still on the Mars orbit. And also we have lander and rover uh, that is all working uh, at the same time. So the communication between Earth and Mars is still going on. And this, uh, this, this whole thing uh, is a thrilling, uh, thrilling uh, thing for us. Uh, it is thrilling because I, I was just uh, looking through some research for this. A science writer, Andrew Jones, came out with a piece just a couple of months ago the headline read, China's missions to the moon and Mars are starting to deliver exciting science results. And one more, one area that's uh, really sparking a lot of interest is these mud volcanoes, where the subsurface of Mars is a potential, you know, environment for liquid for life. Uh, can you talk about what we're learning about this? Well, I think the scientific community has been uh, collecting evidence that so far in one, uh, existed in, in one of the layers of the, uh, the rock. Uh, that indicates that these uh, subsurface water existed before. So there is a, a great potential for, uh, for an in situ, uh, what we call an in situ resource that can be explorable to, to all the, uh, the missions and also possibly uh, pave the way for human uh, presence on Mars and, and making us an interplanetary species. So these are, uh, these are all very exciting scientific evidence and findings for the, for the whole community. How long uh, can the rover continue to send back information? I mean, as you said, it's, it's outlasted uh, what many predicted it would. Uh, do you see it lasting much longer? Well, I, I do, yes, uh, because the, uh, the, Mars, uh, the landing site of the Mars is now in the winter time, and the temperature is uh, minus 100 in the, uh, in the evening and can get colder uh, when day, come, day goes by. And also the, the solar uh, Mars and Earth relation is that the sun is in between the two planets. So we have to, to uh, put the facility in the hibernation mode and wait for December where they, we can wake them up and to get, to get further explorations. And the, the rover is still good for, for all scientific equipment, including to, uh, to, uh, terrestrial uh, imagings and also uh, meteorological uh, uh, data such as temperatures, wind, wind directions and also other subsurface uh, studies. So all facilities are working well uh, before we put in hibernation mode. So we're expecting a lot after December this year. Let me ask a, a two-pronged question. I want to ask you what's next for China's space program, but I also want to get your personal reflections. It must be an exciting time to be associated with uh, China's space efforts because they've, they've really been dramatic in recent years. Uh, indeed, the uh, scientific missions also uh, always collects the international cooperation. That is uh, one of my domains. I've been doing this uh, for over 30 years. So uh, Mars mission and lunar missions has been putting the, sci the scientific community as well as the space agency of the whole world together. Uh, we're working with European Space Agency and, uh, on, on the telecommunications, and also we're working with NASA on the data sharings of lunar and Mars missions. And also one, one exciting thing is that, uh, remember, we have a working rover on the Mars, and also we have another working rover on the Moon. So this is the only country that has two rovers on two interplanetary uh, uh, bodies. So this is very exciting for the whole community and also for the whole world.